could it eventually make it more difficult for you to get some of your favorite fruits and vegetables? It's called colony collapse disorder. Millions of bees dying nationwide. Sarah Ralston is a student reporter at Arizona State University. Sarah, great to see you today. Hi, Contessa. I know that you met with a local beekeeper out there. How bad's the problem? Well, the beekeeper I spoke with has been in the bee business for over 60 years, and he says he considers himself lucky if his yearly loss hits around the 20 to 30 percent mark. That's because some beekeepers lose as much as 60 percent of their bee colonies. That's literally hundreds of thousands of bees. Now, they have come up with a name for the loss. As you said, it's called colony collapse disorder. But the part that stings the most is that no one knows the cause. The researchers and beekeepers I spoke with speculate that it could be a variety of different causes from mites to malnutrition, but there still is no definitive answer as to what is causing this problem. So it's bad for the beekeepers. Is it also bad for the nation's food supply? Absolutely. I think a lot of people equate bees to bee stings, but what they don't realize is that there is a $14 billion beekeeping industry here in the United States. Bees pollinate everything from almonds to zucchini to apples. So consumers can certainly start to feel the pinch in their pockets when they head out to the produce section to buy those foods that rely on bee pollination. Sarah Ralston, great to talk to you. Thank you. Nice job. Thank you.